Last month, Casey Musgraves won her seventh Grammy Award, this one for her performance on the Zach Bryan hit, I Remember Everything, a song she recorded, she tells us, while battling strep throat. That win made Musgraves the first woman ever to take home a Grammy in all four country categories. But over the last decade or so, the 35-year-old Texas native has transcended country, while earning a reputation as one of the best songwriters in all of music. She made her latest album, Deeper Well, at New York's Electric Lady Studios, the musical home first of Jimi Hendrix, and then of just about every music legend you can think of. Casey and I got together the other day for a Sunday sit-down and a stroll through the studio's Greenwich Village neighborhood. Casey Musgraves finds inspiration on a walk in the park. There's a pigeon, man. Really? I mean, he's just holding the pigeons. Aww. It's a great mix of wholesome and illegal activities here <laughs> in Washington Square Park. So you'd pick things up and you'd see somebody or hear something and maybe sprinkle it into a lyric. I feel like this park is like so alive. It's just kind of a common ground of everyone from all walks of life just congregating together. And I don't know, there's something cool about that. My Saturn has returned. Musgraves recorded her latest album, Deeper Well, just steps from New York's Washington Square Park at the legendary Electric Lady Studios. I'm so excited to be in the room where it happened, as yeah. they say. This is right. where Deeper Well was sort of conceived yeah. and in this room. Totally, yeah. I was very drawn to getting out of Nashville and creating somewhere where there was a different energy, different kind of life bubbling around you. And I just think New York is one of the most unique cities in the world. So it's, it's inspiring for sure. That's your my golden hour. The seven time Grammy winner's last two albums made her a global star, beginning with 2018's Golden Hour, written as Musgraves was falling in love with fellow singer songwriter, Rustin Kelly. Then three years later, Came star crossed. And then the darkness came. Released in the wake of the couple's divorce. Golden Hour is I Found Love. Mm. Star crossed is the Shakespearean, <laughs> I'm in pain, I, I have heartbreak. Yeah. And that brings us to Deeper Well, right. which is what kind of album for you? It feels very grounded. I'm 35. I feel like I know myself better than maybe in the past. Deeper Well is more maybe like some of the older albums, which is more just like observations on life and just human emotion and nature and like lightness, darkness, like God. You take the title track, you take Deeper Well, mm -hmm. which I think you said something like this album is me ruthlessly clearing out my life. Ruthlessly removing resistance to growth. And that could mean a lot of different things. Everything has a season, you know, even friendships, even loves, business relationships, whatever. And some are meant to go, I think, the long haul, and then maybe some aren't. There's yeah. some growing up in that song, too, Maybe some there? growing up, but not all the way, just like a little bit. <laughs> Musgraves was born and raised in the tiny town of Golden, Texas, where she always was ready with a song. When did music come into your life? It's hard to even remember a time where it wasn't there. I think I was always just carrying around, you know, one of those like 80s, 90s karaoke yeah. little tape machines with like the spiral cord and oh, the mic, yeah. just always kind of singing. And then my family like noticed that I had it kind of a knack for that. So you were writing songs when you were like eight, nine years old? Nine, I think was my first nine. one. And it's such a thirsty title. This It was called Notice Me. <laughs> I don't know, like, notice me. Yeah, it was a soft launch. <laughs> I'm just a dumb store cowgirl. You talk about how much of an impact oh your gosh, grandmother Nana. had in your career. Well, she was my original booking agent. She had such a big part in making things happen. With the whole family behind her, Casey took her show on the road, singing and yodeling at festivals, fairs, and even the Today Show. At 18, Musgraves auditioned for the TV music competition, Nashville Star. She finished seventh, but found a new home. You realize, I need to be in Nashville. Yeah, it was eventually like, I just need to be here. Those grindy four or five years before your first album came right. out, what were those years like for you? I just went full tilt into songwriting. 
And I had so much fun doing that, that I was like, forget being a performer. That is too public facing. And I would only want to do it if it felt totally right and I could really be me. Years pass, I write hundreds of songs. I noticed myself going, okay, I don't want to turn this song in for another artist. I think this one's for me. Long story short, I ended up signing the record deal. Mary, Mary, quack and shrink. In 2013, she released her debut single, Merry Go Round. On this broken Merry Go Round. You're telling a small town story, but it's not just right. Friday Night Lights and no. all the good parts. You say, let's be real about it. Right, again, it's the human experience. It's maybe the things someone doesn't really want to talk about, but it's something we're all experiencing. What yeah. was the message you were getting from the label? This is depressing. It's not going to do well for a, a you know a first time, like a female in country. It's going to go down in flames, but I'm just like, okay, well, if I am going to go down in flames, I'd rather it be wholeheartedly for something that I truly believe in. It does take guts on your first album because yeah. that could be the end. If it doesn't work out. <laughs> I don't out, know why that didn't occur to me, <laughs> but yeah. And then it, you know, goes on to win like Grammy song of the year. And it's yeah. like, okay, that internal compass means something. I'm sure the same people who are telling you, you can't do this the first time were saying, that was great. We, oh, we knew it all of along. Of course, it's look Do what it we've again done. On your next one. It's oh, <laughs> we did it. It's we did it. You give me butterflies. Among the countless moments and six Grammys that have followed, one stands out. Golden Hour just took things to a totally different level, in part because it won Album of the Year, not just Country so Album of the Year. Was that a shocker? Oh my to you? God! Yes, like, it looked like it was when they announced your name. <laughs> yeah, my eye like closed. It did a weird. I don't know what happened there, but to have like something that you put your entire heart into, given that by peers and industry people, it's really special. And then you know, life it, it, life changes. Like you know, you're on a high from that. You're going through a divorce somewhat shortly after that. It's life is duality. It's it's highs, it's lows, it's all the things. I'm all right with a slow burn. Everything has seasons, so I'm thankful to have beautiful little chapters of like little scrapbooks of moments. And how do you feel in this chapter right now of your life? <laughs> I feel really good. I feel like I'm where I need to be. I feel grateful. Casey's new album, Deeper Well, is available this Friday, March 15th, and she will be performing on our Today Plaza that day as well. If you're in New York, come on down. Casey's world tour begins next month in Dublin before swinging back to the United States. Our big thanks to the iconic Electric Lady Studios in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended interview with Casey Musgraves, including her process for sitting down and writing those beautiful songs. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.